Hello Star Bearers, this is Geostar7 here with another blind reaction and review. Today we're going to be looking at My Little Pony Make Your Mark Chapter 1. So yes, it's finally time for me to follow up on my blind reaction to the new generation movie. Uh, there's been a lot of new content released since then, so I feel it's about time to show you my initial reactions to the other adventures with Sunny, Hitch, Izzy and all the other ponies of Generation 5. Now, um, before we begin, I just want to clarify something. Um, I actually recorded my reaction to this special back when it was first released, which admittedly was over a year ago now. Um, I always planned on editing and uploading it much sooner than this, but when I first started doing it, uh, there were just a lot of other things going on in my life at the time that uh, just needed my attention. So I just kept putting off the editing again and again and again until... Eventually, I just had to start work on another video because I wanted that one to still have some relevancy when it was uploaded. And so after that, I've just been waiting for the right opportunity to uh, start, just start on Make Your Mark again. And with there now being four chapters released on Netflix and a fifth one coming sooner than expected, I just figured it was about time to, you know, get caught up, if you know what I mean. Uh, but anyway, the reason I bring this up is because in the original intro that I made for this reaction, I was mentioning a lot of information which by this point is severely outdated. Uh, for example, I mentioned how uh, the voice actors from the movie didn't return to reprise their roles for the series. Uh, I talked about issues people were having with the lower quality animation. Uh, there was, I think, a synopsis released about a week before the premiere which gave away the entire plot. And I was also mentioning um, how the special had some continuity with episodes of Tell Your Tale that were released at the time. Uh, so yes, I am just recording this intro separately just to let you know that what you'll be seeing uh, will be quite old. Hence why there'll be a dip in quality when you actually get into the reaction. But I still wanted to present the video as it was, uh, just to show you my initial feelings, you know, when I first watched this special. Uh, so anyway, um, in this uh, first chapter of Make Your Mark, it's been several months since uh, Magic has returned to Equestria, and all of the pony races are living together again. Uh, Sunny and her new friends are working to promote Maritime Bay Day for all of the pony races to participate in. Uh, however, there are some ponies who feel like magic is a bit more of an inconvenience to them. Uh, in particular, there's an earth pony called Posey, who's got uh, quite, a, quite a bitter attitude. Um, she's constantly having her day interrupted by uh, Pegasi flying or unicorns levitating things. And on top of that, earth ponies seem to be the only pony race that uh, doesn't have magic and because Maritime Bay Day is traditionally an earth pony festival uh, she feels like magic should be banned from the event which as you can imagine raises a few tensions. Uh, at the same time uh, Zip notices there's something strange happening with the unity crystals and it's causing uh, magic to keep glitching out every now and then so she needs to find a way to uh, fix that. And also, Hitch has found a mysterious egg on the beach, and he decides to take care of it. Uh, but anyway, uh, I won't spoil anything else. Uh, I'll, let, I'll just uh, get into the reaction. Um, uh, again, like I said, uh, it will be a lower quality uh, video because of because it was and it is an old video, and I was using a different camera at the time, but. Uh, but anyway, I just um, I hope hope you enjoy. And uh, so this is my uh, blind reaction to My Little Pony Make Your Mark Chapter One. Please enjoy. Right. Okay. So here we go. My Little Pony Make Your Mark Special. Starting the video in three, two, one. Click. And I've got my tea, as you can see. Oh, right into it. Well, well, you can see some detail in that. Hi, right, Zit. Hmm. 
What are you up to, Zip? Oh. Oh, yeah, she is maximum sneaky. Overall, from what I'm seeing so far, the designs do look detailed. It's just maybe some of the movements that aren't as smooth. Aww. Aww. That's cute. Four of them as fillies. What are you looking for, Zip? Oh. She took... Why'd you have to sneak in to do that? Netflix presents. Oh, is My Little Pony make your mark? Sally, hit me where? I have been listening to this song, by the way. In the trailer, that is. Can you can share? Oh. That water animation, I'm not sure how good that was. From what I'm seeing so far, the animation is okay. Yes. Oh. Hi, Sunny. Mm. No, oh, she Zip does not like being a princess that much. Oh, th that's pressure. Here we go. Yep. It, it is kind of seamless how we've gone from this act, from Vanessa Hudgens to this actor. It's barely noticeable that they're different, I will admit. Oh. Ta da. She's always getting things caught on her horn. I like how they're acknowledging that an alicorn actually has earth pony traits in them. Like, that's been a big debate. Like, it was always thought that it was just a unicorn that gained Pegasus wings or or something like that. But yeah, it is a combination of all three. Like I said, you can see the details in this animation. It's amazing how Pip's able to edit this. I'd hitch. Sandcastle contact. He's getting into it. Uh oh. Like I was saying, I was. It's amazing how the um. Pip was able to add all those things while she was recording. I'm not sure if that's something I'd be able to do. Watch out! Oh, nice hat. <laughs> I mean, some things about this look simpler, but other things don't. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, that would have been something for the live watchers. Faux show. Oh, here she is. All getting right into it. Yeah, some of these movements. Oh, well, she spilled a shake, so that's a smoothie, so that's, I can understand. That's a shiny doorknob. You thought that was nice, Izzy. Oh, she actually fixed them. Wow, she actually did manage to fix it. Not that she's grateful, of course. I mean, I don't mind that they've replaced Vanessa Hudgens because... I mean, you can tell the difference in their voice actors, but but I, I like this, Sonny. And yeah, they built this new home in the Tell Your Tale series. Yeah. Unicycling. That's Sunny's. Yeah. Hmm. Like I said, to heart, hoof to heart, I like that. Like I said, the animation isn't on par with the movie, but it's good for what it is. It's not too bad. Those ponies like their pizza. It's something else. It's a good point. It's true, like, only unicorns and pegasi have gotten stuff out of this. Oh, and sh now she's got a pizza on her horn. She's always getting things caught on her horn, like a tennis ball, oranges, that pizza. Oh, even Sonny's having some trouble. Oh. Whoa. So she becomes an alicorn at random. Yeah, like, like, look at that goo there. Like, that's... That seems pretty simplistic. But I really like the transparency of her wings there. Look, look at that goo. That... Like, when they do splodges or splashes or things, I'm not sure if it's as good as everything else. No, it's not. Whoops. Oh, they did it this time. What? What 
What is it? Oh, wait, wait, she is. <laughs> nope, definitely has not. Her voice actor's different too. I think they've replaced all the voice actors, but I have to say it's all right. Oh, she's got a new crown, I noticed. It it mimics the old one. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hmm. Pitch. I mean, I mean, Zip, come on. I mean, how many pe people actually fall for that? Is it because she's the oldest that she's going to be queen and not Sip? I'm mean, not Pips. I, I'm getting mixed up. Pip, Zip, and Hitch, their names sound really similar. <laughs> that was a pretty good impression. <laughs> be yourself, Sip. Uh oh. Glitch in the wings. No, it's not. Oh. Oh, they managed to save themselves. It's the crystals. They're glitching. Kind of like. That's kind of like Chris Christmas. Like re reefs. That's kind of like Christmas reefs. Oh, heads up. That is a lot of spoons she's carrying. Spoons. That's really? What's going on, Sip? Or did I miss something? Nice one, is he? Wonder what happened to Sprout. Yeah, got to be a bit more specific. 
Come on, Zip. You need to share your concerns. I'm not sure he does. No. <laughs> That's an expensive thing to do. Puzzles? A calamity call? And she's gone. By the way, I do know what he's going to find here. They they did from they did reveal it. Oh, oh, jeez. Hmm, conflict. Hmm. Oh. Again? He just called her! Oh, she's probably cured. Yep, yeah, hang up. Hearts on the hooves. Oh, now it's happening to her. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there we go. Love the artwork there. Sure you are. Hmm. That face. Time. One at a time. It should be. <laughs> uh, he doesn't know how to, how to solve it. <laughs> oh, here we go. And yes, I do know what's inside there. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm not so sure they can animate water. Hi, Posey. Nope, he, he has a habit of that. I'm just randomly holding on to this potted, potted plant. So he's his deputy now and not Sprout. <laughs> yeah! 
Um, Pip, do you not write your own lyrics? So did Zip really write all the lyrics for her songs? Yeah, so maybe it was um, Taste Like Magic? Magic! <laughs> yeah, so maybe um, maybe Pip wrote the music, Zip writes the lyrics. You've been watching that thing for five hours. Surely there would have been a glitch then. And I bet as soon as she turns away, it's going to happen. Oh, hang on, hang on. Now what's happening? What? Wait, is it? It's drawing something from them. Uh-oh. Oh. What's this? I don't know if this is really good or really bad. I, and I, and they're going to go up there and there's nothing there. Yeah, it's gone now. Not so much fines, but patterns. Maybe it hasn't been happening to them because they've been had they've had close connection. Other day, how long how long when when was that? How much time's passed? How do you know? I don't know if the I don't know if this that, that's a good enough explanation, Sonny. I mean, this does feel kind of forced that they don't believe her. Whoa, and she's calling again. And she's answered. Yes. She's coming to see. Again, I'm really loving the reflections in their eyes like the details in their eyes you know the eyes really are the windows to the soul it's really great that they got that wait, all right all right hitch <laughs> yeah. What's the story with that egg? Yeah.
Uh oh. What's going on? Yep. That's her. Is he getting a hoofer kill? Yeah, I do. I love the songs they do as well. And again, this was introduced in the Tell Your Tale series as well. Oh, are we going to get a song? I actually do like some of Pip's songs. Hooray! Paranoid. <laughs> oh, so she does write some of her own lyrics. I remember it being bigger in the Tell Your Tale series. This feels a little bit squashed together with the 3D animation. Oh, a glue QE mark's glowing. Pretty good. Oh, she's really worried about this. Whoa! What was that? Oh, dear. Windy. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Why would they... Oh, uh, how did that... That happened because of their disharmony. Oh, yeah, of course, because... Oh, she's... Oh, that's... That's... Oh. She, I mean, she's... I understand she's deliberately causing disharmony to prove a point here, but... 
Some of these movements, movements are really jolty. Yeah, exactly. There it is. There we are. See, that's what's causing it. But when there's harmony, like between Sunny, Izzy, and Pip, it it's it works. That's why it's important to keep unity. And when that happens, it it there's more conflicts and there's and it gets even weaker. Oh. So was it disharmony that separated them to begin with? I mean, it's harmony that brought them back together again. This just goes to show why harmony and unity is so important. Puffs of heart. Oh. Oh. It looks a lot different though. But that doesn't look the same. Oh god, it's Oh, they're being cautious. Oh, hi. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing two pony. Oh, no. Oh, they are really making this hard. Ooh. That looks like the Crystal Bright house. Oh, wait, it's because she was, she was able to fly. It's because she could fly. Oh, no. Oh, the sky is just keeps getting darker and darker. Oh. What? What's happened? He's eating out of the trash. Oh dear. Oh, this is bad. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, wait, oh, jeez, I mean, I mean, I can understand, like, like, this is how Maritime Bay has always been, and they don't like the unicorns and uh, uh, Pegasi changing it, <laughs> oh, dear.
There's, yeah, there's no sides. You're all ponies. It's hard to convince them. <gasps> Eggy? You're calling it Eggy, really? Oh, jeez. It's not. No, it's not them. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. What happened? Oh dear. Yes, that's it. Come on, guys, it's all about unity. Ah. Uh... Oh no. Oh, she's going to run in to get it. Oh. Oh, she's got it. Where is that leading? Whoa. <gasps> no, is that... Wait, oh, oh, here we go, here we go, yes! Alicorn Sunny! Where is this? This is literally a void. Into nothingness. Whoa. Wow. I didn't know she could do that. I mean, it hasn't been a prominent role for Posey, but as role nonetheless. Oh, oh, here she is. Whew. Wait, is that it? Whoa! What's this? Oh yeah, I think I we I think I um I actually think I know what this is now. You're now you're now you're really like Fluttershy. Kenneth. And Earth Pony Magic. Flower Power. Yeah, it's always been debated whether or not Earth Ponies actually have magic. And now it's actually been confirmed. Wow. <laughs> oh, there's still this. I think she wants to learn more things before she becomes queen.
Aww. She was always calling her Zephyrina. Here he comes. Ah! It's always been a tradition. It's true. It's always been a tradition for the My Little Pony series to have a dragon in it. Although we do know this one isn't going to be named Spike. It was always Spike before. Hmm. Left out. That was like a really quick reformation. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my. Okay, I did I did know about this. I saw images showing about this, but still it's pretty ominous. Wow. Well, it looks like they do have a lot of material for an upcoming series. I was wondering where things were going to be going. Oh, here we go. It's over. And these are some very fast credits because obviously it's like just a special and not a movie. Well, there you go. That's it. Uh, that was My Little Pony, Make Your Mark. And, um... Well, guys, I've got to admit, this was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, if I'm quite honest. Like, I mean, admittedly, it, like, like I said before, the synopsis was released early on. We knew what was going to be happening... Uh, we knew how it was going to be ending. I I also knew about a lot of the surprises, like uh, the new baby dragon that's appeared, and uh, and that mysterious villain who was showing up at the end. I I did know all about that going in, but I will admit the execution was done very well. I I will I admit it's. Like like I said, as long as the execution is done well, as long as there's good performances, you can look past some of these smaller issues. And like like I said throughout, like there were some bits of the animation that looked a bit, uh, maybe a bit rough around the edges. Like there were some quicker movements. Um, uh, some some of the effects looked a bit a little cheap looking. But to tell the truth. They were few and far between. Like, honestly, it wasn't as noticeable as I thought it was going to be. You know, um, so although there is a slight dip in quality in the animation, it still looks good. It still really does look good. Like, it, de it definitely, like, these are still recognisable as the characters uh, that we know and love. And especially... Um, I didn't have a chance to check out who the new voice actors were, but they gave 
a very good performance. Like they are, they made sure to give as much commitment to these characters as those like uh, James Marsden, Vanessa Hudgens, uh, Kimiko Glenn, and and all the others. Like they worked. Like you can feel in their performances that they do care about these characters that they're voicing, and you know, you you can you can definitely tell the differences in their voices. But honestly, it's it's not like a big change. On if I'm quite honest, like they do sound very close to their original actresses and actors. I mean. But honestly, I, I I was worried that the new voices would um uh you know would be a bit too distracting. But but no, honestly, I think I think possibly it's to do with um uh possibly the Tell Your Tale series that I've been able to get more used to these voices. I mean, uh I still think like uh you know Vanessa Hudgens, uh Kimiko Glenn, James Marsden, and others they did give. Uh, strong performances and maybe they weren't as strong I mean for example like um I mean with especially with uh Izzy like she was following uh Izzy's voice actor she was following a performance by Kimiko Glenn who in turn was following a performance by Andrea Libman those are two very tough acts to follow with the amount of enthusiasm and uh, eccentricity that um, that Izzy that Izzy's character is known for, but but like I said, she is like I say, she's pulling it off really well. And um, Sunny's new voice actress has as well. Um, I'll I, I, I really gonna have I'm really gonna have to look up what their um, what their voice actors are because um, I, I cannot for the life of me remember remember them, but. Um, but yeah, and uh, like I say, the story, it seemed, it, it was a little bit simple, but like I say, it was meaningful as well. Like, it's all about the message of unity and working together over bigotry and division, if you know what I mean. I mean, so like we had, I mean, it wasn't like the the message... What I like is that they didn't have the message constantly rammed down our throats, uh, like like it was in the movie. Like they just had some ponies, uh, like Posey, who were, you know, against magic being being back in Equestria, because you know only the uh, it seemed like only the unicorns and the Pegasi were benefiting from it, and now they're coming into Maritime Bay, and it's almost like they're changing things, uh, just changing things around. Like they're coming in and they're interfering on a holiday that's always been theirs. I mean, like especially with like um, designing different um, decorations and singing different songs. Like you can understand why that would feel a bit, you know, a bit intrusive and why um, why Earth Ponies would be against that. But ultimately, it was all about, you know, showing the, the benefits of having magic and having unity among all the pony races. Just like, cause like, 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 like it was said in the old series, friendship is magic. And honestly, and, and the definition couldn't be more clear here because, like I, like I said, it was with... Um, like with the crystals, like they apparently they were separated because because of the ponies uh, becoming divi divisive, and and that's what caused magic to be lost in Equestria. Uh, to this, even now, we're not sure how that happened in the first place. But like I say, that's that's something that can be explored. Like, but keep in mind, this has been a thousand years since since the time of Twilight Sparkle and her friends. So we still, we have no idea how it came, things came to be this way. And like I said, division and disagreements and mistrust and fighting, that's what separated uh, the crystals and was causing the magic to glitch. Whereas working together and using 
all of your powers in unity to help all the different races. That's what kept uh, the crystals together and kept magic in Equestria. And ultimately, by working together and having unity, they've been able to create new magic, this new Earth Pony magic. And so now Earth Ponies have the power to um, create flowers. They have to heal heal nature and, 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 and who knows what else, really. And I just think that's really good because, like I said, it was always debated whether or not Earth Ponies had any magic uh, from the Friendship is Magic series. And now it has been confirmed that Earth Ponies do indeed have magic. And I also like how they said an alicorn is not just a unicorn with pegasus wings it's not just it's not just a combination of of a pegasus and a unicorn it's all three pony races literally it's all three of them together there are earth pony aspects in an alicorn and it's not just because sunny is for the most part an earth pony but uh yeah so um like I said, all in all, I may have known uh, a lot of what was going to happen in this in this special, all but but like I said, it was executed very well. And on top of that, they're adding uh, a whole lot, a whole a whole lot more to what we could see in the future. Like Zip was say, Zip was saying it herself. Like like who created the crystals? Or where did magic even come from? Um, and also there's that, like I said, there's that mysterious evil pony who we saw, you know, clearly she's, I think, I think it's a she, she's going to be a villain at some point in the future that we're going to see more of. And she said something about taking back what was hers. You know, could she have had something to do with magic being lost in the first place i mean we we don't know i mean we don't know where exactly she's watching all of this from we don't know if she's like an eternal being you know may, that some i think some people have debate have actually said that maybe she's an alicorn herself and that's why she's lived all this time like i say i don't know there's there's it they've just said that there are a lot more questions that need answering and moving forward, we may indeed find out answers to that. And um, but anyway, like like I said, it's um, but like I said, it's just um, there's just so much uh, left to discover. Like I, I I actually said this at the end of my uh, new generation movie uh, reaction. Like, where does the series go from here when the main conflict has seemingly been resolved? Uh, this this special proved that it was not fully resolved. Uh, there were still some issues that some ponies had with Equestria, uh, with Magic being back in Equestria. And now there's all these other questions that could that need answering. And, and we'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see for a series to come out or some more specials. And, you know, who knows? Um, who knows what this... Uh, this new generation uh, could hold for us in the future, but yeah, like like I said, um, I what I would I did have my concerns about this special, but as I've been watching it, all of those concerns have been put to put to rest, and I am really looking forward to seeing what they have next in mind uh, for this uh, for this generation. Like, it's really going to be interesting to see. Uh, what come ne comes next because again I really enjoy these characters and I really enjoy this world that that they're building so I uh I guess that's it that's uh that's my reaction to make your mark uh thanks for thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all in the next review video that I do so until next time guys stay tuned <laughs>